Adams alongside Patrick Asalone, Chuck Zito. Here is the fight we've been waiting for. Rosie Sexton versus Gina Carano. Rosie Sexton, 5'4", 135 pounds, 29 years old, 6 and oh, she is undefeated as a pro. She is a belt holder. She's facing Gina Carano, five foot eight, 139 pounds. Of course, Sexton giving away that four pounds there. She's doing it, and she's okay with that. Let's meet the fighters now. Rosie Sexton from Manchester in the UK. I did my degree, my maths degree at Cambridge University, and then I ended up in Manchester doing a PhD, and. Um, it was around the time when I was doing that, that's when I started getting involved in this sport. Um, I found out about mixed martial arts and uh, decided it looked like fun, and uh, that's when I started training. I think I've got a good wrestling game, I've got a good ground game, um, and really, I don't think I do anything particularly different from anyone else, I just good solid fundamentals done right. My name's Gina Carano, and I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. I specialize in Muay Thai, and I think that's like the most hardcore um, uh, stand-up uh, style fighting that there is out there. And maybe that I'm biased or whatever, but I just think it just rocks. So, <laughs> um, But I know that the girl that I'm fighting, Rosie Sexton, she's, um, she's, she specializes in um, grappling and submissions. So I'm just going to want to keep it on my feet. I'm just beginning to grow, and I haven't even really like touched on who I am. I, I'm just like opening up a door right now. And I'm just like kind of like just opening. I, I haven't even opened it really. I've just got my hand on the knob. And I'm really excited to see what I'm capable of. And I'm really excited to fight this girl because of who she is. She's uh, one of the top girls in the UK. And you know, I've always wanted to fight somebody, you know, great, you know, to see what, you know, they bring out in me. And, you know, I know that she's got a lot more experience than me, and that's perfect because I want to be pushed, you know, and no matter what, like, I want to see what I have in me and then grow from there. Guys, I am not waiting another millisecond for this fight. Steve DeAngelis introduced the women. Fight number five, sponsored by the Olympic Gardens. Red corner, Rosie Sexton. That's Dr. Rosie Sexton to you, Steve DeAngelis. Six and oh, as a pro, 29 years old. She fights out of straight blast gym. As Gina Carano was saying, this is an extremely good fighter. Very, very technical, very disciplined. She's freestyle on the ground, boxing as a stand-up discipline she feels great she gave away the four pounds without even thinking twice she's very confident in her abilities as well she should be and if there's anybody who can figure out her odds of winning it's got to be her phd in mathematics from cambridge university she's one of those smart Blue girls corner. my Gina mom always told me to stay away from the Colorado. smart girls. All righty, as you can tell, the crowd loves Gina Carano. She's been in a bunch of reality shows. She was in the indie film Ring Girls. She was on a reality TV show called Fight Girls on Oxygen Cable Network. She brings a lot of people with her whenever she fights, especially in her hometown of Las Vegas. She's 1-0 as a pro. Her Muay Thai career sported a 12-1-1 record. Again, she looks significantly bigger, not only in poundage, but just all around. She does look a lot bigger than Rosie Sexton. Oh, yeah. She is a lot bigger. It's just not four pounds. She sweat down and yeah. still was four pounds over. Rosie agreed to fight anyway. She came to fight. She's not going to back down from anybody. I'd say Gina's probably a good 10 pounds heavier. Yeah, yeah. At least. Gina Carano At is least. not. She's got a few inches she on She is her. not a bantamweight. There's no question about it. She is definitely not a bantamweight. This featured fight is in the women's featherweight division. Your referee, John Schorl. Introducing first the fighter in the red corner. Standing in at five feet, four inches tall. She weighed in at 135 pounds. She is undefeated in the cage with six wins to her credit. She is the Cage Warriors women's champion. Fighting out of the straight blast gym all the way from Manchester, England, Rosie Sexton. And 
and her opponent, the fighter in the blue corner, standing in at 5 feet 8 inches tall, she weighed in at 139 pounds. She is 1-0 in the cage, but she has a Muay Thai record of 12 wins, 1 loss, 1 draw from Las Vegas, Nevada, Gina Conviction Corrado. Guys, I have goosebumps. Gina Conviction Corrado versus Dr. Rosie Sexton. This is going to be a quality fight in the bantamweight women's division. This really is. We are looking at two of the future ladies of mixed martial arts. Gina's got that look in her eyes. She's ready. Ready? They're both ready to go. Here we go, round one. Sexton in the red trunks, Carano in the plaid. Look at the difference in size. Oh, oh big nice. Kick. Oh, oh, oh that. beautiful kick. Yeah, felt that. Felt that. Look at the boxing skills of Carano. The left jab, keeping the distance. Sexton going for the shoot. Oh, sick knees. I don't she know if Sexton has ever faced this kind of Muay Thai before. But she better get she better get Carano off her feet. Gina is just way oh, yeah. too strong. She's too strong. Too big and too strong. Wow, Carano, Carano is looking just invincible in there. Oh. oh. Sexton better get let those hands go. Sexton better let those hands go. She is in major trouble. The way, the way Rosie's standing, Gina is not intimidated at all. She will walk right in on her whenever she feels like it. And great takedown defense by Gina Carano. Well, she is so technical and so disciplined. Well, Rosie's not trying to set up that takedown with anything. She's just uh, she's taking just a shot. She wind up running to a knee. Yeah, she's taking a beating. Look at that left thigh. You can see the imprint of Carano's foot on Sexton's left thigh. That's a shin, Jay. <laughs> is that a shin? That's a shin. It's the size of a foot. That is a big, strong shin. I'll tell you that right now. Big knee by Gina Carano. But so far, Rosie Sexton has been able to mount zero offense. At least she's keeping Carano in tight. She, that's what she has to do. What, what does Sexton have to do to turn the tide of this fight? She needs, she needs a lock up a little bit higher on Gina. Try a trip, take her down. Do not let Gina get any distance on her whatsoever. If she steps back to throw some knees, it's going to be bad news. Sexton finally mounting a little bit of pressure here on Carano. No major threat, but she at least has stopped the beating. So in this picture, you can see that's definitely not a foot. That's a yeah, shin right. bone. That's a shin bone. <laughs> that is not meat hitting meat. That is bone hitting meat. Interesting. Interesting. That's She's got to go. Farewell for Rosie Sexton. No, Rosie's going to get right back in there. Oh. 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 Looks like Sexton has, has really got to get her hands going, doesn't she? She's, she's got not to, using her hands at all. Yeah, she's got to make Carano think. Oh, wow. What a great move. Gina's got that choke in. Oh, deep no. Uh oh. She's got the choke. And she's got incredible leverage. She's much taller than Rosie. But Rosie's coming out of it. I think she is, she's out of it. She's out. Look at that. Rosie's a fighter. She is a fighter. Three minutes and 20 seconds ticked away Rosie here in round listening one. listening to her corner, driving Gina into the cage. Okay, look at that. She's kept, she's kept her cool. And she has Carano in a situation. She's past the guard. She needs to get her hand in there. If I'm Rosie, get my hand between my face and Gina's face and start dropping some elbows. What is she trying to set right here by the by this positioning? Oh, she's going for side mount. She's trying to guard. She's trying to get side mount. This is a position where it will really negates Gina's length and her, and her reach advantage. Well, Sexton weathering the storm and starting to put some pressure on Carano. 
Less than a minute to go here in round one, and what looked to be a blowout might actually turn into a good fight here. She needs to stay on top of Gina and not let her back up again. Oh, yeah. yeah that is the best advice of the night right there. Do not let Carano get back on her feet. Keep busy so she doesn't get stood up. I don't think it's so much a technical difference, but it is just a raw size difference that is really not working to her advantage. Yeah, you're right. It's just Carano so much stronger. But Sexton doing a great job here. She's raining down some punches. This looks good for the judges. Amazing. Two women. If I'm Carano, I just... <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm Sexton, excuse me, I just open up. And I don't care if I punch Ten myself seconds. out right now. Absolutely. I got a minute to rest. Absolutely. <laughs> Five seconds to go. Five seconds. And the last round. <laughs> nice round. Wow. Beautiful nice. round. Wow. Nice. And uh, Carano's looking a little banged up, and Sexton just casually strolling back to her corner. Carano's quick to sit. Jesus Sexton isn't even sitting. Up on the ground the next round. Uh, d definitely does not want to go back no, on the ground with, no, with, with, with Sexton. Not. I'll tell you, I got to give a lot of a lot of credit. Look at how banged up Carano's well, face is. You there. know something? Sexton took took Gina's game a little bit, and then she gave it back. And I don't exactly. think Gina really likes it too much. Exactly. Carano being attended to you frantically. That Gina. All right, we're going to get a replay here. Tell think, us uh, what's Sexton going is just on here. As strong as Gina. Oh, here's early on in the fight where I really Sexton was in so much trouble. Well, she's just standing there taking damage. She was not using her hands to set up her takedowns at all. And then when she finally did get a position, she opened up and did do some damage. John Shorrell is clearing out the cage tech, and here's where Sexton really turned it around. Everyone is the same size on the ground. Good Remember point. that. Good point. It looks like Carano, looks like Carano may have eaten, but she definitely took some abuse on the forehead. She may even have a fat lip. She's got a welt on her left eye. She's got a welt on her chin and a welt in between her eyes. She got banged up. Welcome to MMA. <laughs> well, Carano wanted to be tested. She's getting tested. Here we go, round two. Sexton looking way more energetic than Carano. Rosie needs to change level to shoot, not just bum rush her like that. She's got her pinch. She's got Carano pinned up against the cage. If you're just joining us, you're watching World Pro Fighting Championship action. It doesn't get any better than this, folks. Rosie Sexton of England pinning Gina Carano of the United States up against the cage. Sexton pummeling very well. Putting Gina back up against the cage. Gina needs to get off of the cage. Get her back into the center of the ring. Gina Carano looking to create some distance, but she's having trouble. She knows she needs the distance to let the knees and the hands go. But Rosie is smothering her. Rosie cannot allow her to have any distance like that, even with her back against the cage. That's oh, very nice, nice shot by very Gina. Nice. That's what she has to do. She has to stand up and keep away from Sexton. Nice big, knee. Big knee. The Sexton is not shooting in anymore, and that's what Carano wanted. She wanted to keep her honest. Look at Sexton's thighs, the welts on him. Yeah, she's taking a beating on those thighs. Sexton needs to set those shots up with some hands or a leg or maybe a, to fake a shot, reshoot. She can't just keep walking into Gina's fist like that. Take a look at that thigh. Great wow. shot, guys. And that is a foot and a shin and a thigh and a knee and a and a heel. <laughs> Every part of the inside welt. We've got a shot of that coming up. Rosie needs to not even worry about punching Gina. She needs a body locker and take her down when her back is against the cage like that. Oh, inside and outside of the thighs. You see the welts? Oh, oh, oh nice elbow. Nice elbows. Big nice. hook. Oh. Rose is in trouble. Yes, she is. Rosie needs to. What oh. does Rosie need to do at this stage? Rose is in big trouble. She needs to get some distance and back off the cage. Rosie is taking a beating, but she still looks. She has her wits about her. She's calm. Punishment. And she's she's still going back to her game plan. She's not letting Carano take her off her game plan. Carano is just fierce with those punches. Straight, tight, hard shots. And this is just what Carano wanted. Nice uppercut by Sexton. 
She's a dropper level and take Gina's legs. The key oh, here, wow, going for that. She's got to get her hips lower than Carano's to take her down. Nice knee by Carano. Carano definitely very loose in there. I saw her fixing her shirt a couple times. I said, that's, that's when you're comfortable in there and not too worried about the pressure. I don't think Gina's worried at all about trading strikes, which is where most of the damage is done. You can hear oh. Rosie Sexton's corner beseeching her to do exactly oh. what you've said, Patrick Asselone, and that is to get your hands up and throw some shots to set up the takedown. Rosie's stopping short on her shots. You have to shoot through your opponent to take them down. She's stopping on her knees. She's not driving through. And then when she gets the clinch and she gets Carano up against the cage, she's not doing any damage. Carano's got an awful lot of height, Jay. Yeah. It's very, very tough to take her down. Sexton is saying, you can't be breaking us again. Sexton is just working definitely to the detriment of Rosie Sexton. Every time John Schroll breaks them up, it gives another beating to the face of Rosie Sexton because Carano just needs that distance. Well, Gina has absolutely no fear of Rosie's striking ability, exactly. so she's just going to keep walking in on exactly. her. Oh, 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 big knee. Huge. Huge. Big knee. Boy, Carano is just so sharp with her Muay Thai. Such good takedown defense. Rosie, sit out. Nice. Just can't turn the corner can't on Carano. Can't quite turn the corner. She may be gassing a little bit. She's always in that position where she's needing to lift Carano's weight, and that's going to take it out of you. Not to mention the beating her thighs are taking. And that's what, like you say, when you're getting low and you're driving your opponent up, using all the thighs. Ten seconds to go here in round two. Oh! oh. It's a big rise oh. in. Beautiful right hand. Four minutes and 54 Beautiful. seconds of the second round. Wow. Gina Carano left no doubt as to who won that fight. The big right knocking out Rosie Sexton at four minutes and 54 seconds of the second round. Rosie Sexton is okay. They're just making sure that everything is intact. Safety is always of primary concern in world pro fighting. We always make sure our fighters are well tended to. The crowd is chanting Gina as she is weeping. It looks like she is weeping with joy. She wanted to test herself against the best in the world. She did exactly that, and she did it in exciting, dramatic fashion by knocking out the belt holder from England, Rosie Sexton, who you've got to give all the props in the world to, Patrick. You've got to give her so much credit for getting in the cage against the local favorite who you know can punch and kick the way Carano can. Let's take a look at some of the exciting finish of this fight. Just beautiful, beautiful overhand oh, right good. by Gina Carano. Beautiful. Bang! That was it. Rosie Sexton was gone. What just hit me? Where?